Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. So I've decided to do a series that is called How Do You Trade a Certain Pair? And I hope you guys will get good insight on every pair that I'll be discussing. And I think I'll do, um, I'll, I'll be showing you how to trade different pairs. Maybe I'll do five, maybe I'll do ten. So today we will start with how do you trade GBP USD because what I have realized, guys, is that every pair should be traded differently. You should treat every pair very special because sometimes pairs don't move the same way. Sometimes pairs are volatile. Some are some they don't move. Uh, they 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 drag. Some they are affected by the news. So some pairs they some obey structures. Some don't. So guys, in this series, I'll be giving you all the details on what to do when you're trading your favorite pairs so guys if you're interested continue watching so uh let's start with gbp usd this is one of my favorite pairs one because it is one of the major currency that is traded so often by like everyone so if you want to um to trade gbp usd you need to keep things in mind and i am here to sh i am here to show you how to get started so the first thing that you need to understand is that gbp usd is the mother currency and mostly when it um uh, when gbp usd it's buying there are pairs that buys together even the structure is the same you can see this this is the current structure of GBP USD. So there are two pairs that you don't need to look at if GBP USD is not uh, has not given you direction. So you need to understand that. Let me just write here. Uh, we are tackling GBP USD. Uh, we'll say this is the um, major uh, currency, major currency that is traded by so many people. So what happens is that if you are trading GBP USD and you know the direction and you're perfect with the direction, what happens? There are two other pairs that follow GBP USD. So I'll give you for free those two pairs. If you didn't know, now you know. Number one is GBP CHF. GBP CHF. And the one the other one is GBP JPY. GBP JPY. So guys, people like trading GBP, JPY, GBP, CHF, and they ignore the major, the major currency. We call it the mother, like it's the one that gives direction on where these two will go. So if you've been trading GBP, CHF, and you don't know why you keep failing every time, is because you ignore the movement of the major one, which is GBP USD. So focus this time, focus on GBP USD, get the structure straight, get everything straight, and then after you get the structure straight, now you can be able to trade GBP CHF and GBP JPY. Even if I flip, I can show you the same structure that uh, GBP CHF have. If GBP CHF is selling, GBP USD will be selling. But GBP JPY sometimes it misbehaves. And when I'll be uh, tackling the GBP JPY episode, I'll tell you how to trade GBP JPY. Although it follows GBP USD, this time around we want to trade every pair specific. But it's just a caution to tell you don't buy GBP USD and you're selling GBP CHF because they move in one direction. But it doesn't mean if you buy GBP USD, go buy GBP CHF. No. Every pair you need to analyze it alone, like individual, do individual uh, pair. So one thing I have understood about GBP CHF, sometimes it does not respect structure. GBP, GBP USD is a pair that it will break. GBP CHF, uh, GBP USD can break a zone. I don't know if I have an example. It can break a zone like that. You can see here, this is a four hour. It can break this zone and then keep going. And then all of a sudden starts coming up. Sometimes it does not, uh, uh, what I've seen, it does not keep structures. It, it does not uh, obey trend line. GBPUSD, you can put trend line. It breaks. It does not obey structure. How do you treat it then? 
GBPUSD, I find it you trade it well with higher time frame. If you trade GBPUSD uh, on higher time frame, uh, on lower time frame, you will always get it wrong. It is well traded on higher time frame. So let's shift our time frame from uh, four hour to daily, and then we'll go to weekly. Again, something else I've seen with GBPUSD, it keeps, uh, it likes consolidating a lot. So if this is only pair that you trade, it keeps consolidating a lot but it does not retrace that's something else gpusd keeps uh, consol consolidating it can move sideways for a very long time when it breaks a structure it takes time to retrace so this is one of the best it is a best feature because if you're on the right side you will not have problem of your profit being taken out but if you're on the wrong side chances of you getting uh being redeemed by the market or getting the market getting back to your uh uh, current position it is not that easy so guys let me show you what i mean so i find gbp usd uh, trading it on higher time frame so let's go to daily so that we can understand what i'm saying so this is daily time frame you can see gbp usd can break structure this is what i meant when i said it does not keep that thing of breaking structure you can see here we had broken this structure this level and the market as we know it comes and it needs to retest so when you're waiting for the market to retest and go up what gbp usd does it it does not keep I, I i'm so sure people understand what i mean it comes break whatever you thought it will retest and then now it starts now going down when it has accomplished what it wanted so sometimes it does not keep it does not obey structures as per se Another thing that I can tell you guys is that when you're trading GBPUSD, you need to know uh, what each currency individual is doing. Remember, GBP is very, very powerful as a currency. USD is powerful as a currency. So how do you trade these two? You need to always uh, go to your uh, news website to check the news website what is happening every time there is news on usd don't trade it uh don't trade gbp usd uh without a stop loss if there is news don't trade gbp usd without a stop loss because it is really affected by the news i can say for sure it is really affected by the news again gbp usd you cannot see patterns sometimes we may think uh Patterns, I mean double top, double bottom. Sometimes when you think that the market will come here to make double bottom so that the market can continue buying, it breaks that structure. Then, then you, you think it will come to retest, then go down, it breaks again the structure. That's why I'm saying if you have traded GBPUSD, you know for structure-wise, it does not keep the structure. So how do you trade it then? How do you trade it then? Uh, the thing is, I will tell you to trade GBPUSD with the zones and with the overall trend. If we try to uh, to to squeeze this chart, let me show you how now do you trade GBPUSD. If you try to squeeze this chart, you can see our highest point. This is daily time frame. You can see that's our highest point. And in and at this place, we got a we got a double top. Here we have a double top. And then this was our neckline. You can see, guys, even if the neckline, the neckline was broken, the market still went up and it consolidated for so long. Uh, and then even after it broke, it still went up again to do, I don't know what it went to do. Even if it broke, uh, it broke the structure again, it found it way up. So sometimes GBPUSD, it's, um, a very interesting pair and it does not keep structure but if you are if you know where the trend is going that is your friend gbp usd wants just to know where is the trend what is the trend and if the overall trend on daily is not broken don't try to force in the trade so how do you do it let's start this is our highest point of course that's our highest point if i can squeeze that and then our lowest point our lowest point is here. The market was there. So that's how I can say the market was trending up. You can see it was making very good high highs, high low, high 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 lows, high 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 lows until it went to this top. And then 
came down now this is what we are saying it is our neckline and then came do did a double top with gbp usd we all know if it did a double top we know this market will eventually sell that is something that i want to show you for the fact and if more so this double top is seen on weekly we can try and see is our double stop on weekly let's try and see you can see our double top is on weekly so this is how uh gbp usd you can trade it uh uh just follow higher time frame is double top is on the weekly the neckline was broken so this market eventually it may come here if it breaks it will keep going down so even if buyers come in come in don't get uh don't uh don't get disappointed and uh, and uh if at all you know weekly time frame what it is saying and daily time frame it is saying long term you always go with long term gbp usd don't trade for our when you see a, a, a pattern happening just uh, consult your weekly and your daily more so even you can go to monthly so that's what has happened to this market it has a double top on weekly that alone it gives us a confidence that this market will continue going down and then the other thing where we have double top on weekly we can try to see has it broken the structure no we can see on weekly the market since it started to give us a uh, uh, uh low 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 high low 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 high low 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 high the market the the structure has not been broken on on weekly but when it comes to daily for hour sometimes it has broken structure here and there if you are not looking at the big picture so i can really emphasize if you are trading gbp usd go check there is a double top on weekly and the market is likely going down the mark the market can likely it is likely selling it will sell for the ne for the next few weeks even if we have these buyers even if we have the buyers let me show you what i mean even if we have these buyers coming in and that it's like the market is shifting you can see even on daily let me show you daily we still have daily we still have our double top that's our double top this is our neckline you can see our neckline is that and it was broken the neckline was broken retested so double top neckline and then that's why i was saying gbp is like going sideways it was broken retested and then the market now it's dropping remember this was our previous low this was our previous low and the market came and broke this alone the that market breaking that low it is a, a, a an indication that this market will continue selling so guys if you are confused on how do you trade gbpusd what is the direction i'm here to tell you that the structure the structure cannot lie and the structure at this moment it's saying the market will keep going down and the next low that this market can drop to until it a uh, break this it's 1.26 Six, six, seven. So the market is most likely uh, after it is finished to retest, it can drop up to 1.2667. And then we wait. If it breaks that, the, it, it breaks this level, now it will go to the next level. And that's how you trade GBP USD. You will trade it with higher time frame. So don't don't uh don't ask yourself why am I not able to trade GBP USD? Why am I buying and the market is selling? Why am I selling and the market is buying? If you already know where the direction is going, you can see on daily the direction is still bearish. But when you go to four hour, the market has started breaking in structure. You can see we have that high broken and everyone will think the market has uh it it is on a buy but let me tell you uh it can do this uh but on daily time frame we still have a low so guys gbp usd weekly time frame and daily time frame is your friend if you have um if you have enjoyed this video and you have known how to trade GBPUSD, kindly comment down below. Let me know which pair gives you stress. Which is that pair that is very, very straight. Uh, uh, it gives you strain and it maybe ha it has blown your account. Let's see which pair that keep give people stress and we can uh, analyze it together. So today it was GBPUSD. Let's see tomorrow it will be which pair. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.